All right. Oh, not muted. Oh, still not muted. There, I did it. Hello, everybody. I did the thing. I got a cat here that wants to say hello. He's just bugging for attention. Every time I start streaming, he's like, it's now my turn to get attention. So we're going to pet the fluff for a little bit. I still got two more shards for decked out to do. And we have six crowns. So it's potential that we could do three runs today if we get two more crowns and a shard appears in the shop. Hi. So, Bay, thank you so much for the 20 gifted subs. You're crazy. Gemini Tay, if you're still around, thank you so much for the raid. I do appreciate that. We had Shinmon Alma with a two-month resub. Welcome back. We had Jean coming in with a six-month resub. Welcome back. And we had Thim, Thin Gamma Bob with 100 bits. What are you doing? Now look this way. The peeps are this way. You gotta look at them. Cub was waiting for a short in the shop. He might still be waiting. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't even know if we're gonna have a successful run or if, we'll, if we do, I don't even know if we'll get two crowns. Like, it shouldn't be that difficult to do if we get a successful run, but... Has he seen himself in the mirror? Uh, I'm sure he has before. I don't know how perceptive cats, cats actually are. Like, he's been up on the windowsill and there was like, I don't know, a bird or something out in the yard. And I'm pointing at the bird and he's like staring at the window, like right where my finger's pointing. Not looking in the distance, right? And then like five minutes later, he then finally realizes that there's something moving out there. So I don't really know like <laughs> how aware they are to a mirror and that it's their reflection. And yeah, he might need glasses. That's true. I don't know. Uh, cats and dogs see blue things better. That might be true. I have no idea. He's a sleepy boy. I mean, that's what cats do best is they sleep and they eat, right? That's what they do best. It looks tired. You guess all cats look tired. It's true. Like they sleep a lot. Yeah, they eat, they sleep, and they poop, and that's it. And they look cute and adorable, so we put up with all of it. You imagine he's purring loud? He is purring, kind of. You might be able to hear him, but, like, the music's probably overpowering it. How long are we planning on streaming today? Well, I currently have two shards. I have six crowns. If we get two more crowns and then the shards available to purchase, we might do three runs. But, yeah, it doesn't. I don't know. Cats see in like 90 FPS, so video at 60 looks like image, then black, then image. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't think our eyes see in frames per second, first of all. I need to use a lint roller, and then we're going to get started here. He's not Tubby. He's a rag doll. Who called my cat Tubby? I will find you. So you tell me you haven't overclocked your eyes? How are you even Minecrafting? Yeah, I remember a long time ago, like people were saying, seeing 60 FPS 
doesn't matter because the human eye can only see 24 fps or like some stupid things like this and it's just like come on that's not even remotely true there's no way you can possibly believe that you're like regurgitating something you misunderstood and like i don't understand i don't understand how people can even say things like that but no like biological eyes don't see in frames per sec per second there's a certain point where things might happen so fast that we can't perceive them happening, but I don't think there's ever going to be a point in time where we are seeing like flickering, like a cat has 60 FPS eyes that, or they see a 90 FPS or so 60 FPS looks like they're skipping a frame or whatever. That, that doesn't make sense. That's not how it works. When you're sleepy, you see it like four FPS. When I'm sleepy, I just like uh, five more minutes. That's you before coffee. <laughs> How fast would a car have to go past you to not notice see it? Well, you'd hear it. So like you're talking about just visually not seeing it. Man, it'd probably have to be going something at like a thousand miles an hour or something or faster than that. I'm not even sure. Like, I don't even have the foggiest reference on how fast something would have to go for that. There's a reason flies are so hard to swipe. They process visuals very fast and can react faster. Yeah, they have like, what, 50 eyes per side or whatever? Like they have the, like the hexagonal refractive multi-part. I, I don't know. I'm just making up words, stringing them together to make myself sound more smart. I have no idea. What difficulty do I plan on going? We're just doing hard mode. Ah, the TikTok intellectual. If you don't move your head, 300 kilometers per hour is already hard to spot. Fast and Furious 12 will probably have cards that will go faster than the eye can see. All you gotta do is just throw a supercharger on there with a turbocharger and some NOS, and like you're good to go. That's all you gotta do. You miss Isaac? Well, it was never really popular on my channel, so uh, unfortunately, you're in the minority there. Unfortunately. So there are still three eggs that remain, Green, Scar, and Cleo. We found the cub egg yesterday. That was the fourth from the last one that's to be found. Um, I currently have six crowns. I'd like to get two crowns out of the dungeon so I can potentially get myself another shard. There currently is not a shard available. I'm hoping that the shop resets and we have collected two more crowns before that happens. Um, last night I traded Jevin a crown for a treasure treasure hunter. So we're now five of five treasure hunter. We are five of five sneak. We are five of five stability. We still only have two ember seekers. We are three of three reckless charge. We have our dungeon repairs card that we got and one loot and scoot. So we're looking pretty good on our cards right now. 125 just resubscribed for two months. Uh, Millie, hey, thank you so much for the two month resub. I played Repentance for my channel. I believe I was playing Repentance. I was planning on doing a full unlock. I think we only got about halfway through it. Like there's just so many runs and I can really only do one run per episode. We were like episode 150 or something. I can't remember where we were. Yeah, um, Jevin was one crown short of buying a shard as well. And I needed the treasure hunter. He needed a crown. I was like, you sure you only want one crown? He's like, yep. I'm like, all right.
What does a dungeon repair card do? It gives you one clink and seven hazard block. Block seven hazard plus one clink. You just finished a new South Park special when you notice a live hypno. Is that the one that's on like, was it Amazon or Paramount? Oh, it's one of those other streaming services I don't actually have right now. I kind of miss South Park actually just doing their normal Paramount. Yeah, I kind of miss South Park doing their normal seasons. Like it's been a f number of years now since we've had like a full season from them. I think the latest one was only like five episodes or something. It fell really short. How's my day been? It's been good. We did a, a pretty long stream earlier. Well, I guess it's a normal stream earlier. We did like a four hour stream of playing Lord of the Rings Return to Moria. That was really fun playing with some of the other hermits. Still got a few more shards left, or I guess two more shards left to do and decked out, so. They'll return to that once their max contract is up. Yeah, Lord of the Rings was a lot of fun. I feel like there's just probably too many people, like maybe if we split up into smaller groups and there was less people talking over each other, it'd been a little bit better. It was a little confusing trying to figure out what was going on though, that's for sure. Hopefully when we do our stream tomorrow, there's gonna be me, Azuma, and Zed, I think. Uh, it'll just be three of us, like we'll be able to communicate better and be less chaotic, hopefully. Nobody's running right now. It's just me and Tango online, actually. You hope I get a level three compass for the tension. Also, did Tango add wardens? I have no idea. If we get a level three compass on hard, it's gonna be one of the real easy ones, hopefully, so. Am I streaming tomorrow? Yes, we got another sponsor to stream tomorrow, my normal stream time. We're gonna be playing some more Lord of the Rings. Return to Moria. My voice went robotic for you for a 45 seconds. Anyone else? No, that's gotta be just you. Uh, hello, Stengeli? Sten Stengeli? How about just Sten? Hello. All right. Turn off alerts, turn off music. We are ready to go. Recording on, shard in. I don't know why there is a impulse head right there. I'm sure they were screwing around somehow. In we go. Doop, 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 boop, 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 boop. All right. We gotta say hello to our berry bush, our friend, the berry bush. There we go. Somebody did a deadly run before me. I think Cub was playing earlier. I'm not actually sure, but we're gonna continue on with our hard runs for now. Um, before I go in, I just want to make sure. Yeah, okay. So the only common cards we have left that we can purchase are Ember Seekers. Just want to make sure I know that before we get going here. Yay! Off we go! Am I going to be sassy today? I'm always sassy. Welcome to my live stream. <laughs> All right, what do we got? 
What do we got? It's gonna be a level two artifact. All right. There is a Ravager right at the start. That's not that's not a great way to start off. Um, I don't want this Ravager here. If that door is hazard blocked, that means they have to come through here. We gotta pull this Ravager somewhere. Come here, guy. You're gonna come with me. You're coming with me. I guess I should probably have checked ahead to see if there's another Ravager up here. I don't know. There is another one. Why are there Ravagers, like, here at the very beginning? Both of you guys need to come over here. All the way down. Come on, little buddies. If I can get them both... If I can get both of these guys into the... Ice Ravine room, that would be real great. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep them both aggroed, though. Come on, guys. Well, we're taking one with us. Reckless charge. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Come on. Dude, what are you doing? Tango, your Ravagers are being silly. Yo, what is this guy even stuck on? Thank you. Frost Temper. We need this guy like all the way down here. Oh, I lost him. Did he go around? What did he do? Ravager. Got my key. Oh, I just heard a door close. Was it this one back here? I hope not. Okay, I think we're just going to leave that Ravager there. Okay, it sounds like the other Ravager is in the Kneeling Man statue room, which is fantastic. That's where I want it to be. Stability. Yeah, right over there. So we have our key, but we have Frost Embers I want to collect. So we're just going to go spend a little bit of time collecting some Frost Embers real quick before we go down to floor two. Man, all the shrieks. Grab some extra berries here. All the frost embers have been deployed just about. There they go. Oh. Where was that? There's one right there. I guess we're going to do a little bit of looting over here. Maybe some more frost embers deployed in the kneeling man statue room. Oh my goodness, of course I hit that one. There goes my clink block. We're gonna check um, this side loot room over here. We're going to check over by the lava and then we're gonna start getting out of here. No loot here. Reckless charge. Reckless charge. Can I sit off this? Thank you. I'd rather not set off any additional ones. There's my frost embers. No frost embers over here, really. I heard that lava bubbling, and I could have sworn I thought I heard Ravager footsteps. Man, all my stuff. I really should go drop this key off and get the uh, loot downstairs. We got any frost embers down here? We do. Alright, let's go down. Only five frost embers on here. We still got some queued up, so we might get some drop down on floor two. Um, I would really like to leave this dungeon with two crowns so we have the potential of buying another shard if one appears in the shop. Okay, let's find out where we're at here. So this is looking like maybe... It's looking like it might be the rusty area. Okay, let's go over towards the bridge. I'm not seeing any Ravagers. 
Finding all the shriekers, though. Ooh. Frost Ember down here. If you guys didn't see it, we found Cubs. Cubs egg. Right in here. There is a Ravager down below me. It won't get line of sight. We're just going to go. Gotta stop setting off all of those shrieks, though. Uh, so this is... Is it on the boat? Oh, Willie's right there! Why is Willie constantly climbing that water? Did you guys see it? Let me, uh, see if I can zoom in. Literally right there. So, is it nighttime or daytime? I don't know. Hopefully... Okay, no frost embers down here. Gotta be real careful though. There's a coin. So if we have to go onto the boat, Willie is gonna be a problem. Maybe we got lucky and maybe oh there's a frost ember here. Maybe we, there's a crown or something over here. Take a look. But at least we know where Willie is. No loot over here. Okay, let's get over into the water. We'll go do a big loop around the water area. Oh, this has been retracted. Okay. Not great. Okay, okay we're just going to loop around here looking for loot on the boat. Oh, a rusty repair kit. Okay, so we got some things that we might try. More frost embers. Key over here. Don't really care about the key. Uh, so I think we have to get up on the... Let's see if we can do that. Hopefully Willie's still up on that water column and will just leave us alone. Willie is right there. Okay. That is kind of a problem. How do I get up on the boat if Willie is right there? Is there a way I can climb vines to get up on the boat or something? Our hazard, or I'm sorry, our clink is getting up there. We do have a, a clink block. We're gonna deposit three clink. That guy be able to know. Okay, we're just chilling. We're just chilling. We're just chilling. If Willie's at the front of the boat, I might actually be able to scoot from the back of the boat. Great, that... I mean, these are the two crowns that we needed here. We're gonna be leaving here, Max Clank. There's there's no other way. And if we are Max Clank before we leave, I think we're gonna go do Rusty. A lot of extra Clank on this round. That's really unfortunate. Okay, that guy is active. We gotta go. Glow Squid, you better save me. Okay. So this is the one at the back of the ship, I think. This one right here? No! Well, I guess we're not gonna do the repair kit. Uh, I'm just gonna drop the compass here. My mistake! Okay, we're definitely at max clink. If I could get out of here... At this point, like we're we're actually really set. We got 44 embers worth of stuff right now. If we can get out of here. Are we going to be able to get out of here? I don't know. We have to take lava side or spider path. Those are our only two options. 
Willie was back here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I think we go dripstone under and around over this way. Yep, I think this is... This is the plan. There's a crown right here. Two crowns. Hopefully we don't get a Ravager in the face. I think we're taking Spider Path. I think Spider Path is probably our best option right now. Okay, that's closed. We gotta go. Okay, we're poisoned. Not great. I'm picking up things. I don't know what I'm picking up. Oh, God. We're going to have to deal with this guy right next to us here. Go, 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 go. Please don't touch me, Vex. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. There's no point in rushing anymore right now. GameStop tempting me. I kind of wish I grabbed that berry at the bottom of Spider. Or at the end of Spider. We are going to be one HP short of taking a Ravager hit, but that will allow us to take a Vex hit. And I think that's probably the more important thing. Like, most of the Ravagers we can avoid, it's the Vex that we got to be wary of. Man, we have six crowns right now worth of stuff. I'm going to be real sad if we lose this one. We got so much loot. I did get some glowing too. Look at that. Is there a sign that needs to be illuminated? Oh, actually, I think we're going to be completely full HP. We're just going to have no additional berries for our hunger. Look at that. We will actually be able to take a Ravager hit. Not that I want to. I'd rather be able to tank a Vex hit, though. Okay, that's our last berry. We're going to wait for, we, for our regen to happen so I don't... An artifact just went off. Sure, just give me three more clink. No problem. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. We're here. We're gonna cut across this way. Dungeon repairs. A little late for the dungeon repairs, don't you think? We're gonna get hit by Vex here, maybe? Nope, we're fine. Whew. Okay, okay, okay. Vex are still hot on my trail. Gotta go. Just don't look at them. They don't exist. Everything's fine. Is there a Ravager right here? I might grab these berries. Okay. We're not going to make that same mistake we did last time. We're just going this way. Taking a far path. Okay. We gotta go this way because all the hazards gonna be blocked right now. Okay. As long as there isn't some random Ravager Tango spawned in right here. We're back, baby. We're back. Another win. Whoo. That's how you do it. All right, man, I ended up with three <laughs> level three keys. Not even trying. Wow, 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 wow. That feels pretty good, guys. Yeah. 44? Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Uh-huh, we might be able to, is that another dungeon repairs? Did we just get a second? Rare card? Oh my goodness, what is even happening? No, that's not dungeon repairs. This is... Airy Silence block. Eight, clink, block, two, hazard. Um. Hmm. Suit 
suit up! Absolutely! There is nothing else that I want better than suit up. We're taking it. We're taking it. That is ours. It's going in our deck. We're getting ourselves a moment of clarity as well. Woo! I don't even care what any other card is. Suit up is what I want. Bounding Strides and Reckless Charge, both fantastic cards, but they pale in comparison. They pale in comparison to Suit Up. Oh my goodness. All right. I think we're, we're set. Let's see if we can maybe press the button and get ourselves another victory point here. Come on, oh, ho, ho, ho. dang it. I was like, one sprint jump, too slow, I think. And of course I didn't set spawn. Of course I didn't set spawn. Okay, so where is, where is the tunnel of shame? Is it this? Right back to decked out. I don't even know how this works. How does it? Ride of shame, approximately three minutes, 45 seconds, right click minecart to ride. All right, let's see. Let's try this. I don't even know where this takes us to. No, it's not a walk of shame. It's a ride of shame. But you know what? I'm perfectly fine with the ride of shame since we got suit up. Since we got suit up. So good, guys. So good. Gonna end in lava pit? What do I gotta lose? I got nothing on me. Is this the right use for drown? No. This is a path that Azuma made specifically so you don't have to do a walk of shame. Actually, I'm gonna disappear for a second again. Yeah, suit up is a game changer. I 100% agree. Now we need to get our evasions. We need that extra clank block. There was lag early. Can I check if it's on my end? I've dropped zero frames. But I do see that my preview of my stream is lagged behind. There might have been something on Twitch's end. Is this even faster than the nether walk? I don't know. I feel like running over to the portal and just going through the hub is faster. I wanted to try it. Everybody keeps telling me I should take Azuma's tunnel, but it's really loud. It's really loud, by the way. It was buffering a lot during the run for you. Sorry. What? Is a streamer even talking? I can't hear him. What? You think this seems endless? You should see my... I guess I can turn down the sounds. Uh, we'll do this. If you think this seems endless, you should see my rail tunnel that I did in the nether that's like 10 minutes long on season one. Yeah, that that rail was excessively long. What? I guess I can put in like some background music so we have something instead of just dead silence. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, I kind of feel like just taking the nether tunnel is faster, honestly.
Where does this even like drop you off at? I have no idea. Oh, right into here. Hello, Etho. <laughs> oh, sorry, I had my uh, whole PC sounds off. Mr. Mr. Slab. Ooh, baby. Let us buy. Let us buy a shard. That'll give us two more runs to go. That'll be super awesome. Ooh. Oh, he got a shard. Oh, did it just reset? Uh, yeah, I think I reset just now. Well, since I went in on my run and then I had to take the ride of shame. Uh-huh. Yeah, so it's probably got about two more hours before it goes again. Uh, am I good to go or are you... If you want to do a run, or... go ahead. I got two more to do this phase, so I'm sure you got some okay. runs too. Just I've got hopefully no more 50-minute runs. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to go faster. <laughs> no rush, I'm no rush. Quicker. There's not a lot of time left. No, no. Yeah, we have today and then tomorrow. <laughs> Guys, I am so happy we got this card finally. I have been wanting this card since I even knew it existed. That was before you could even buy it, I'm pretty certain. Look at the border on that card. It, all the green cards have like that weird border on it, or is this one different? I wonder if that's because it's permanent, maybe? I can't go free cam. That's expressly forbidden. It's because it's permanent? I was going to say, I don't think the other... Yeah, there's no like... Um, would look like stairs placed on top of each other borders on this card. I didn't know it had. I know it said permanent underneath the the card name. I didn't know that there was the other border thing. The yellow one on the right has it. Oh, it does. Oh, okay. So that border is because it is permanent. It seems weird. Does Ethereal have something special about the border? It doesn't look like it. <laughs> so yeah, we got a moment of clarity. We'll put our reckless charges in there and then put this in there. I think that might've been the first time I got the golden eye. Let me fix my hot bar. Things are in like wrong places and it's driving me crazy. All right, let's put our moment of clarity away. Bounding stride. So if we get four more crowns, we can do yet another run. Uh, I would like to try and get some tomes. I've only collected those three so far this phase. You can't wait for Etho to upload the 54 minute run with no editing. I doubt that's going to happen. He will probably edit out most of the him just sitting there like doing nothing. If he even uploads that run, I don't know. I don't know if he's uploading every single run or not. Oh, it's nighttime. I should sleep for him.
Yeah, Tango uploaded the VOD, but I don't know if Etho will upload his version of it. Um, I guess I could put it in the top center. Let's try to figure out where I want to put the, um, yeah, that's fine. That'll be fun. That bounding strides though. Yeah, so we got one more shard in there, I got one shard on me. And then if we get four more crowns, we can get another shard. But it's gonna be like two hours before one will be available. Ethan might chop it up because of the banter in chat and Tango punching him. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, brutality? Nope. I don't think I will. I don't think I will. Reckless Charge is a permanent mainstay of my deck. You're very curious whether suit-ups clink, scaling will kill me or save me more? Well, I'll put it to you this way. I have left the dungeon on max clink probably 70% of the time. I would say it's probably even higher than that on my successful runs. How many times I was at max clink and successfully came out of the dungeon. I think suit up is going to make it easier for me to leave on max clink is what's going to happen. If I can tank more Ravager hits and more Vex hits and more Willy hits, I think... I think that card just made me OP, but I don't know. I haven't gotten a chance. I haven't gotten a chance to try it. Yeah, you get clink faster. Um, the thing is when you get max clink, then treasure stops dropping and then you get more hazard, right? I think that card's gonna help me, but we'll find out. We'll find out. I think even if Tango drops or isn't a max clink, having the diamond chest plate and pants are still gonna allow you, uh, still allow me to withstand extra Vex hit. At least an extra Vex hit. Cub suggested removing Res 2 at max clink. Well, thankfully, I got it before the change has been implemented, as far as I know. Yeah, Willy, it nerfs Willy a lot. I think Willy does three hearts of damage with with um, suit up. I really think. Hmm. I was gonna say I really think Tango should have made that card like higher price. Like I feel like that card should be more of a rare card. Willie does two hearts with it? Oh my goodness. That's even more of a nerf. Right now, Willie, without suit up, Willie kills you in two shots. So with suit up, Willie will kill you in five. Maybe even six if you're eating berries and like recovering some HP during the onslaught. Yeah, I think suit up was priced incorrectly, but it's priced how it was, and I purchased it, so... Well, either way, I'm not gonna try and purposely get hit by these mobs. It's not gonna do any good for Floor 3, but there have been times where I have left Floor 3 
I wonder if he's talking about the one that's in the trick-or-treat room. There have been times where I left floor three at max clink already and survived, right? That's how I got the ethos slab out of the dungeon. Um, just as long as the Ravagers are positioned in such a way where it's not like you have to take a hit. Like, it's doable leaving. Anyway, give me like a minute here, guys. I'll be right back. All right. This is forever. Ethos in. Ethos running right now. How did we rusty repair kit an artifact? What? Stubby, I have no idea what Tengu is doing. Obviously, he's watching Etho run. You're asking how I got the artifact by dropping the Rusty Repair Kit in there? Yeah, you can drop anything in the artifact pickup locations and it will drop an artifact or yeah. We don't do that. Like we don't have the memorized. We don't just toss a berry in there, get an artifact and leave. We go to the compass locations. That's a known thing. Like Tango didn't put filters on them. So like in the last few runs that I did, especially on that last run that I just did, uh, towards the end there, we heard a gong, like you dropped an artifact. In fact, I think we can play that sound right up here. Uh, I think it's this one. That sound signifies when you drop your artifact in, and you get your artifact and you get three clink. We heard that sound, like, at the end of the run, like, when I was still on floor two, I think? After I'd already turned in my artifact, I can't remember where it was. But anyway, um... Wardens kill slimes, I think is what's going on. And the slimes drop their slime balls into the artifact pickup spot. That's the only thing I can really think of, of how those things get triggered, but like it's happened to me like three times now, I think this phase. And it's only when I'm playing. 
I'm I'm telling you guys, Tango's in the back room. It's like, oh, Hypno's playing. Three clink. Uh, flips another switch. No evasion card. <laughs> I am curious. Uh, how many slime balls are in the artifact drop off locations? Yeah, it adds clink. There's nothing that stops it from happening either. It really shouldn't add clink unless it's on the floor that's active, like treasure doesn't drop unless you're on a floor that's active. But like, I'm sure if Tango was building the system over again, he would have accounted for that. That's just one of those things you don't really think about until you, you can't really know about that when you're building the game until it starts happening. You think local mob caps are a thing since 119, so couldn't Tingo make a mob switch here to stop slime spawns? He could. Uh, he could also make a bat switch so bats don't spawn. But I don't think he wants to do that. I think he likes the fact that the wardens have like other things they go for him. Ooh, sneeze. Emergency sneeze. Mm -mm. When that stops spiders, no. Uh, spawners are not affected by mob cap. I'm gonna sneeze again. Thank you guys. Sneezy Hypno. I'm allergic to Max, by the way. I'm not. That would suck. Do you think he purposely built on a slime chunk? No. It's really hard to find an area as large as Decked Out is with zero slime chunks. I don't think he was thinking about that when he decided this is where he's going to build his base either. Second wind. Look at all those status effects up there. He's got the suit up, the the movement speed, the regeneration. We got his artifact. Is second wind a one minute speed boost? I can't remember. Is the game in a mushroom biome? No, it's not. I think. This is uh, old forest, old taiga. Uh, where's it say? It says somewhere here. Yeah, old growth spruce taiga, right there. Same biome my base is in. Oh, a sprint is the one minute one? Okay. It's too late to make a mega base? Yeah. I mean, you could, but I took so long off the season in the middle of it, like, it'd be pointless for me to even try to build anything more. Next season, I plan on playing the entire season. I mean, honestly, I plan on playing this entire season. There was something about the crossover event that, like, just didn't really do it for me. And I was going to take that time off. And then I got into playing something else during that crossover event thing. And then I just never made it back until Decked Out was on the horizon. Yeah, I feel bad though, like I left the server for so long and then I didn't really get a whole lot done. Like I feel like the the first few months that I was playing, like I accomplished a decent amount, but then like taking that time away and then coming back, it's like, well now what do I do? I don't know. 
Was that when I was playing Elden Ring? Maybe. I mean, I'm sure I played it during that time. The crossover put you off Hermitcraft as well, and you return with decked out. There you go. Is the season ending soon? I'm not sure, like, what's been said. So I don't know. So I don't know. Let's just say... I don't even know what I can say. No, it's not that I got burned out of vanilla. It's just the server went into a direction I wasn't really feeling, and then they were gone for so long, and by the time they came back, I was just like, now what do I do? I'll put it off for a couple of weeks and think about it, and then like that couple of weeks turned into a couple of months, and then it just felt awkward, and yeah. Yeah, I don't think we time our seasons based on Minecraft updates. If an update's coming out when we have a season around the corner, then we will try to like implement it. But yeah, we don't wait for them. When is 1.21 supposed to come out? You didn't watch any of the server swap thing? Well, neither did I. <laughs> I, I have no idea what even happened during that. 1.21 is pretty far out, mid next year. There's a reason you watch Hermitcraft and not Empires, fair enough. Everybody's got the thing they like. Well, we're currently on 1.20, right? You think they're not going to release like a 1.21? Like you guys are saying 1.21 as in like the next version it's got the crafter and all that stuff in it, right? You sure they're not going to release like something else like a smaller update before then? Like I know they showed off the copper blocks and things like that, but you think they're going to really wait that long before they release another update? The snapshots are now 1.20.3. Yeah, sub C. I'm, some people liked it. Some people didn't like it. There's nothing wrong with having an opinion either way. As a content creator, going to like somebody else's server and trying to interact with them in a forced manner like just didn't really do it for me. But some fans liked it. Some fans didn't. Some creators liked it, some creators didn't, I assume. Super Mario... What are you talking about? Etho's in the dungeon right now. Oh, I think my sneezing fits are over. I can put my camera back up. I don't really have a sneezing fit, but I was having like multiple sneezes there. I think of a sneezing fit as somebody who has a sneeze and then they sneeze like six or seven times in a row without stopping. I couldn't imagine that. That's gonna be awful. Usually I get one sneeze and then like maybe 10 seconds later, I feel like another sneeze coming on or something. Sorry, typo. You meant to say who was running at the moment. Yeah, Ethos in. Oh, uh, not a chance. Not a chance, man. That was rough. He was in there for a long time to still be on level three. Ooh. Well, I just got to do that like eight more times and. <laughs> 
We've done our runs. Oh, Pikachu man. just resubscribed ah, for two months. Forty-five minutes later. <laughs> I heard that you got your artifact like a long time ago. Like, what, what was going yeah, on? Yeah, I got trapped on level three with the wardens. Were you just like hanging out in a quarter? Uh, I was pretty much running it for my life several times. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I got I got hit probably six or seven times from them. Wow, six or seven times. The I art, the suit up doesn't protect against that, does it? Ah, uh, it helps a little bit. Does it? Okay. Yeah, but I couldn't get out. Unfortunate, dude. I kind of don't know the layout too well still. Ah, so you were like at the bottom trying to find your way out and like you had hazard blocks and stuff? Yeah, I was at the, well, I got up to the mid level at the highest, but. Okay. Um, there's some staircase that I can never seem to find and it's like the way out, I think. Mm hmm Yeah. Trying to find the, uh, the non hazard blocked ones that, that got me to spend a lot yeah. of time when that change was made. Yeah. There's like, I think every single staircase was blocked for me except for probably the one way out yeah 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 all right well Ooh. sorry you had a had a rough run well i got a lot of experience <laughs> from that well that's a good thing yeah because now you know we're like i guess the bottom to the mid-level staircase is for sure mm -hmm. there's a lot of practice dodging wardens too yeah that's something i need to practice with because it's just like if warren's angry with me i'm just feel like i'm just gonna die there's nothing else mm -hmm. no you can definitely get away from them it's okay just, uh, it's, it's tricky cool all right well i'll go do a run and uh yeah probably not gonna do a level three though <laughs> <laughs> all right have fun, oh fun, we man. still gotta wait for this to reset though Yeah, the suit up card is really good, but it also really stinks because really? I think it's adding more than 25% clank. Oh, you think it does? I think hmm. it's more like 50. Yeah, I just picked up that card in my last run. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this was going to be my, or this is going to be my first run with it. Um, But I have left the dungeon many times with maximum clank without the card. So I feel like that card is just going to make me more OP leaving the dungeon. But I, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it'll help if, if if you gotta take some hits. Yeah, for sure. Like the only thing I'm really concerned about is Vex, but like sometimes you get that unfortunate Ravager cut behind a water stream or something, right? And then yeah, and that's like guaranteed death. Yeah, without. <laughs> so that's what I'm really hoping suit up will uh, will help with with that kind of stuff. Well, that and dealing with Willie. I haven't had too much trouble with Willy lately. When I went down there the last time, he was, I think in that same spot, he got Doc at the very top of that water column. But it was mm. daytime, so he didn't, like, snipe at me, but I caught him. Like, I saw him where he was. Yeah, he got, I, I ran just before you, and uh, he threw a trident at me from there <laughs> oh, <laughs> while I was at uh, the, the rusty area. Oh, okay. Next yeah, yeah I, I went up to the rusty area thinking that's where my drop-off location was, but it was not. But yeah, I saw him hanging out there. I was like, oh, no. All right. I think I'll, I'll go in now. All right. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Oh, you know what? I didn't get my deck. Oh. Yep, go ahead. All right. Our deck is slowly building, which is great. We've gotten a lot of extra cards this phase, which is fantastic. It's what we needed. Oh, 
You know what? I just ate like two pork chops before I came in here. Gonna take a lot of berry damage. Oh, I think we're just about there. Yes, we're there now. All right. Pork chop eaten. Etho just ran a deadly before me, but we're going to go back to hard. We're going to be checking out our suit up card for the very first time this run. Super excited to see how this plays for us. Let's do it. I, I clicked the bed, guys. Pay attention. I clicked it. I am recording, yep. Okay, so there's our compass, there's our map. How does suit up work? That's how it works. Right like that. Level three mid artifact. I think the mid artifacts on level three for a hard run, I think that's just turned right around the corner. I wasn't really planning on doing a level three run, but I guess, I guess we're gonna see how this goes. So treasure hunter right away is fantastic. Is that a bat right there? That is a bat right there. That bat's gonna die to freezing. Poor, poor little guy. All right, so no ravagers over here. We want to get down to floor two like pretty quickly, so we're not wasting treasure cards on this floor. We need to make sure we get that floor three key very quick. Uh, so. Ravagers seem like they might be in a good place. Sneak. Where was that ding? It sounded like it was right here. Oh, it was right here. Okay, there's a coin. Ravagers. Are they like in the same spots that I left them? Are they in good spots? There's two Ravagers, but I don't see either of them. I wonder, they both gotta be up this way somewhere. Unless there's one like right around this corner. Like by the berry. Right there. Um. Okay. I'm gonna pull this guy further down, I think. I where'd he go? Oh, he went way over there. Alright, okay, come over here. Alright, we'll just leave you up there. Okay, so he's seeing me right now. I should get access to this berry. He'll be around the corner. No, I think that's the first time my berry got stolen from me. Sag. Okay, well, anyway. We go in here. Where is this Ravager? Is it still downstairs? Oh my goodness, all the dings. Don't see it. There's no loot here. Okay, that Ravager is kind of in a bad spot, but it's not awful. This Ravager's got to be downstairs. Uh, I think we just leave the Ravager alone down there and just kind of check out the upper loot spots. Key, let's go. Ding, 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 ding. That Ravager's in a bad spot. We need him out of the lava room. He's got to be in the Kneeling Man statue room. You need to come over here, my guy. I'm probably gonna set off like a shrieker or two. But yeah, this guy needs to be like up here. Okay, we're gonna leave you. I'm just gonna do a quick loop around. Oh, he's following me kind of far. I might have made a mistake there. Oh, I hit the shrieker. Well, we have plenty of clank block right now. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Okay, I think what we're gonna do is we're actually... Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, we got the 1.25% clink or whatever. There's a 25% chance we get double clink. All right. 
All right, guy, come on. Come on. We're looping you around a different way. I am taking you into the kneeling statue room. We're, I was gonna go search for frost embers, but we're not gonna do that now. Come on over here, my guy. Okay. We leave you there. We got some frost embers that'll be dropping down here, which is fine. Didn't even get any out of that so far, but I really need to get the key. Um, Where do I want to go here? I kind of just want to wait for like almost thinking that we run through spiders. Was that the hazard right here just going off? I'm sneaking so that guy shouldn't see me. Six berries, huh? Yeah, we need a key. Um, I kind of just want to chill and wait for like treasure to play and then maybe run through spiders to grab a key. I feel like that's probably the play. Oh my goodness, we're just not gonna get it though. I mean, there could just be random treasure that has dropped. Hmm. We're just sneaking, I'm gonna grab some berries over here. I don't know if this berry is within range of the spawner or not. I think we just go through here. Maybe we get lucky and find a key. Reckless charge. I don't see any loot over there. Oh, I missed. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Let's make sure we uh, top up our HP though. I hear a Ravager. Sounds like it might be on top of the lava. That's what I want, it's treasure hunter. Which way is this guy going? Okay, he's going back that way, which is fantastic. Uh, Frost, Ember, and a crown over there. Well, yeah, let's go collect that loot. Rusty repair kit. <laughs> a lot of loot right here. So we're already up to three crowns, essentially. There's a. I don't like hearing those guys like so close. We're still looking for that level three key. Ah. Willy right there. Okay. Well, we saw Willy, but we have suit up right now. Hopefully, we'll just be fine. Even if we get hit. But, yeah, we need a key. Hopefully, there's just one chilling. There is one. Nice. Where that berry? Okay. Off we go, on to floor three. Now, Willy was to my right at one water column. Hopefully we're still far enough away he won't notice us. If we come out of floor three, like very quickly, we'll probably use this rusty repair kit, but it really depends on what our um, situation's looking like. Hearing that warden sniffing feels like he's like really close, but I'm not sure if it is close or not. Uh, but yeah, we gotta get going pretty quickly here before we get to Max Clink. Okay, so we really don't need to sneak unless we have blindness. This is looking like... I just said we don't need to sneak unless we have... So I have not been down here since these changes have been made. So we got pressure plates here. 
This is on mid-level, so we need to go down this way. Is that a new sound? Okay, so we're hazard blocked here. Uh, where am I going? All the way down here, maybe? Oh, we're close. Oh, I see that pressure plate. This is mid-level. That would be lower level. Uh, do I have to go back here somewhere? Yeah, I definitely don't know where all of the artifact drop-off locations are. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Almost ran over that one. Okay, well, I don't really want to be in with the warden. Somebody's angry. I don't know what that guy's doing. But I do know is I don't want to just stand still. Is this guy still back here? I don't know what I should do, because I think I need to be in that room where the warden is. I really want the warden to come follow me out here, kind of come sniffing for me. We just gained a whole lot of clink right there. All right, I think I just gotta go in there and just drop off this compass. Like if the warden's just gonna be chilling in there. I think we just gotta go for it. We're either gonna do this or we're not. And it doesn't seem like this warden is leaving this room, so. Oh, this is. Please don't see me, Mr. Warden. It's fine. It's not even in here? That was real close. <laughs> uh, okay, so where did I miss? It wasn't in that room. boy is there like something over here I'm just not paying attention to I know this is mid-level and I don't think this is mid-level over here oh really where else to go right here no it's not right there it's above me somewhere Okay, we're we're just chilling. Oh, is it? No, we already determined it's like right here. So I need to come up over and then around. But I don't. I didn't see how to get over there. Level three mid. It's got to be on this level.
What I need that warden to do is come down here. I loop him around the cart and I go back up and then check that room again. Is this warden on this way? That warden was just right around the corner right there. That's really unfortunate. It's angry at something. I don't know if it's angry at me or not. It definitely sounds like it's angry at something, though. Okay. It's not making that sound anymore, so I think it cooled down. We gotta come back up here. I can't just like not do anything. It's still just sitting right there. Come on, guy. That's really unfortunate. I mean, what? I guess I could go all the way down past where this guy is and maybe draw him out. Okay, I think they're on me. There's nowhere to go over here. Yep, okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's not fine, okay. So I guess I could have ran. So you can take three hits from a, a warden. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do there. Like I went into that room where the, where I thought the artifact was and the warden was in there, but it seemed like I had to go beyond that wall to drop off the artifact. So yeah, I'm not really sure where that one was. Was it in the room where the warden was? I don't know. I just don't know. You guys are saying it was the foreman's office? But I thought the stair on the left takes you all the way down to floor three, where the stair on the right takes you down to floor two. Is there, is the foreman's office on the way down to floor three on that stair? Maybe that's, have I even been there before? I'm not actually sure. Yeah, I mean, chat, you guys obviously know where it is because you've watched every single run from everybody. I don't think I've actually been in that room. No, both don't take you to level two. The staircase on the left goes all the way down to the bottom. Staircase on the right takes you to mid. Well, had I known that it was there, like we could have just been in and out and like had a successful run. I'll know for next time, I suppose. 
That's really unfortunate. We had a lot of crowns and stuff too. Like that would have been a really good run. Bad news. I got sonically shrieked three times oh, in the face. Oh man. Yeah. Apparently. Well, yeah, I I had a mid level three, and so I went down the right hand staircase, which takes you to the mid level, and I was searching around and I couldn't find where I had to go. Um to get the artifact. Yeah. Uh. My chat's telling me though that it was in the foreman office, which is on down the left staircase. Part way down to the level three. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a hard one to find. Yeah, I've never had it, that one before, so I didn't know that it, was a thing. It's it's a deceptive compass on that one. Yeah. Now I know for next time, I guess. Oh, well. <sighs> but I finally went down to level three, and that was on a hard run, so. Yeah. Oh, on a hard run? Yeah, that was on hard. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get more hazard block in my deck. <laughs> <laughs> It matters a lot more now again. I mean, honestly, I feel like if you just learn where the where the non hazard blockable things are, that's just that's just key. Like having hazard block yeah. is nice, but like you're always gonna on have level, to make those quick decisions and I, I don't know. On level two, I think that's true. Uh on level three Like if you only have one way out of there, it forces you to go by the wardens. That's true. Yep. Yeah, I guess that's the only one you can't really preposition mobs for. Yeah. Yep, that that's true. Yeah, I don't know. Like it was easy before when you could just spend forever down there, but now it's like <laughs> you can't. I almost feel like I could spend forever down there. I was trying to move really? a warden out of the room that it was just like focused on. I don't know. The dungeon is. I thought that on my first run, and then I, I've done a couple since then. It's like, wait a minute, this is different. Well, I guess you know it started feeling different once uh, all my cards got played, and like I was hitting max clank. Yeah. But man, the pressure plates are everywhere. Jeez, that's the first time I've been on floor three since the change. Yeah, they're and you can't like skip them. You have to like jump over them or make noise somehow. Yeah, that's true. Uh, did you need to go again for your stream, or should I go? Oh, you you can go again if you want. Like, I got one more run to do with this phase, so I'm not in a rush. Okay. I'll try to be quick. Good luck, Ito. Thank you, thank you. Take a guess if it's going to be, what is it, pain, or is it going to be, what's the other one? Panic. Panic? Guess, oh, guess yeah, which panic. one's going to kill me. <laughs> um, If one's going to kill you, I think it's going to be panic. Okay, panic. I'm going to say pain. Okay. Ho hopefully we don't find out. Yeah. Uh, Monster Judge, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Welcome, dude. Pik Pikachu PhD, thank you for the two month resub. Impulse rated at some point. I think I might have been preoccupied with something. If you're still around from Impulse's raid, welcome, raiders. And then Callus Unicorn with 100 bits. Thank you for the 100 bits. Tango delivered more than 100 pressure plates down there. Yeah, it feels a bit excessive, but I don't know. I've only had one run down there so far. So I felt like my clink was going up faster than it did before, which is to be expected with suit up, but it didn't feel like it was becoming awful. Like I felt like I still had time when I was on floor two and all I was expecting to do was a hard run on floor two. I wasn't trying to do a deadly floor three run, right? 
Um, so as far as Clink goes in that run, I felt like it was all right. Yeah, the pressure plates really hasn't made floor three harder. It makes it more annoying, I would say. Because now you're forced to look down when you're moving around. And if you're careless, then yes, you can die. But is that harder or is that just more annoying? I don't know. I feel like it's just more annoying. Oh, Etho got a jump boost right away, so he's going to probably be going for that key in the downstairs. Although, I think there's a Ravager down there. That would suck if you think you're going to just quickly jump up, grab that key, and then there's a Ravager. <laughs> That's like, now what do you do? Hopefully that doesn't happen to him. Easy Willy. Easy mode Willy. So what did we have there by the end? Let's go back to the video. What did we have here by the time I died? Because I picked up some extra crowns and stuff. Oop. Before that. Before that. So we ended up with four crowns. Six crowns. Why did this come back up? Get off there. I hate Windows Media Player. This application sucks so bad. How do I get the stupid bar at the bottom to go away? Why is it there? I hate it so much. So we only ended up with two additional frost embers. That's not very many. I'm not moving the mouse. Do you see? This is my mouse. My mouse is no longer on the window. I'm not moving my mouse. And it's still up. Like, this application sucks. For playing back video, though, I find... Well, for playing back video for me, I feel like Premiere is definitely the better one. Especially since I record my audio on multiple tracks, I can complete back multiple tracks through this. What am I doing? I want to scoot this over. All right, so yes, we had three crowns. Actually, no, I think we picked up another one. Didn't I say we had six crowns? Yeah, this is maybe draw him out. Let's actually go back. Hold on a second. When I came into floor three and I chose that path, why did I choose the path that I did? Okay. It really depends on what our um, situation's looking like. So we picked up a number of I crowns on floor three. Sniffing feels like he's like really close, but I'm not sure I guess if it two is crowns. close or not. Uh, but yeah, we gotta get going pretty quickly here before we get to max clink. Actually. Uh, audio effects. Sprint. Sprint. That one sounds like a weird name. Or a weird call out. Okay, so my compass is okay. literally pointing so really straight don't need ahead. To sneak unless we have blind. Shut up, past hip. No, I'm talking. So the compass is like pointing right here, which is kind of confusing. That's very similar to the other location that's down this ladder and just like right by the diamond ore. Blindness? So how would I know in the future that it's not that one? Okay, so if we're looking straight ahead, it's actually pointing slightly to the left. 
this is looking like oh look at that it is pointing to my left right there and i didn't notice that okay that's how i will know if it was the diamond or area it'd still be pointing straight ahead and then you go down the ladder unless that's blocked off then you have to go all the way down the floor three and go all the way around okay all right i just said we don't need a sneak unless we have blindness yeah so i totally I didn't I totally didn't see that the compass was pointing the wrong way here. I saw that it's floor two, so I wanted to go down to floor two. Okay. All right. I'll know for I'll know for the next time. Yep. Down here since these changes have been made, so we got pressure plates here. Yeah, it's literally behind me when I'm going down. I'm not even looking at my compass at this point. I'm just hearing the wardens, knowing that this staircase takes me down to the mid floor. And the other staircase takes me down to the bottom. I also don't think I knew that there is the warden's office. Halfway down the left-hand staircase. Okay. All right. Yeah, I know this one, if you follow this all the way down, it goes down and then it cuts across and then it cuts across again. Um, and then... Actually, it goes down, I think, and then it goes to the left, doesn't it? Man, I, I'm trying to remember... I think I've been down that staircase before. Hmm. This is on mid-level, so we need to go down this way. Hmm. Yeah, and then I was sense? convinced it was in the room where the warden was. And then I spent a bunch of time like, should I go in there? Should I not? Then just like, screw it, just go in there. Yeah. And then this warden was like fixated on something in here. It just wanted to just chill. What was it trying to go after? I'm not sure. What is that right there? This Oh, that's its hand. I thought that was like a water stream or something. Hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. Do you think it's the only hard drop off? Ah. Uh, is that true? Well, it might be. No, I think there's another one from hard where you have to go down further on the mid floor and that's on the right hand side. I think you do have to go down those stairs and it might be the first turn on the right. Okay, well, Etho did the artifact. You love seeing the hermits learn from their mistakes. It's always more fun to watch that way. I feel like that's the best thing you can possibly do is just replay back what you've done and figure out what it was that went wrong and not just assume something went wrong. Like if you know for sure something went wrong and it's something that you can change, then you absolutely should do it. And there's no way you're going to learn that unless you just do, unless you rewatch what you've done or you just do a bunch of runs and make the same mistake over and over. Um. Oh, you mean that drop off location can only appear on hard difficulty? I see. Like deadly, it wouldn't appear there. I'm not gonna lie, I almost want to do a deadly run, but I'm not gonna do a deadly run. We're still gonna continue on hard. What do I think the forge will be? Well, I think Tango's already stated that the forge will allow you to make legendary cards. I've heard it somewhere. Twelve-year-old, you definitely would have benefited from VOD reviewing your failed Mario 2 runs. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember if Tango said directly if I've heard it from chat or whatever, but that's what I've... That's my knowledge. 
Yo, I feel really warm right now. It's 81.3 degrees Fahrenheit in here. I normally don't stream this late, so I think my air conditioning is probably not taking this into account. Yeah. Let me... Let's set this to a lower temperature and hopefully the AC will kick on. Yeah. Yeah, I got like three monitors, three computers in here, my laptop, two uh, desktops, my mixer, uh, my camera. I think that's probably all that's contributing to the heat. Oh no, I got my NAS and my internet and my router in the closet next to me. That's all still part of this room. So. There's a lot of electronics in here that really warms it up. And if I don't have air conditioning going while I'm in this room, it gets really warm. Oh, I don't have my camera turned on. I don't remember when I turned it off. You went from 18C to 2C in one a day? Yeah, that's quite a drastic weather change. Suja Q just subscribed. Suzy Q U U U U U. Thank you so much for subbing. Welcome. Brand new Prime Gaming sub. I don't need a heater in winter season when streaming. Well, I have central air and heating, right? So, like, if it gets cold enough in the rest of the house, it'll still kick on, but. Um. Yeah, I generally don't get cold in this part of the house. Put AC at 1661. I have the AC set so it kicks off at 73 Fahrenheit. I just bumped it down to 69. I just a few degrees anyway. Just so like I have some air going right now. Is it bad that you read that it has 18 chaos and two chaos? Well, monster judge, I think it's time to log out. Honestly, I think it's time to put path of exile down and log out. You keep your house at 68 all year round. Yeah, I try and keep mine around there as well. Dead evoker. Did Etho just kill an evoker? No! Oh, close! They just, they just kept chicken me back. Oh, all the evokers are dead. Refund, refund Tango. <laughs> refund, evoker is dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I was so close. Oh, they just they just pitter pattered me, ping ponged me back and forth though. Oh, let me go. We gotta think about this. I don't know if I'm I'm ready for deadly anymore. I we might have to go back to hard. This is nuts. Oh. Why is the evoker dead? There is not a dead evoker. Tango thought his evokers were dead because Etha wasn't f close enough to like set them off or whatever. Oh, he was out of load range and didn't see them on free cam? I mean, I guess that's a possibility too. I mean, they're obviously doing his job if Etho died to him.
All right, guys, we got one shard remaining for this phase. Tomorrow is the very last day we can do runs, and there's probably going to be a lot of last-minute people. Hey, Atho. I saw a Vex got you. Uh-huh. On floor two, um, floor one? I was at the very end, just about out, and I got stuck in a ping pong. By a Ravager or what? By Vexes. I got hit by Vexes four times at the very end. In the, like, the circle room, or? Yeah. Oh, man. Those water um, streams really make that difficult, huh? Yeah. Uh, I will say, um, level three is definitely interesting now. <laughs> well, you got, you got your artifact and you got out, so it can't be that rough. Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was fine. It was totally fine. Nothing went wrong on that run. <laughs> Did you find the staircases, or did you have not as much hazard that time? I did find the, the staircase. I think it's the guaranteed way out. Okay. Um, yeah, but I don't know what's up with the wardens. They just detect you without you doing anything. Hmm. Yep, Tango, Tango has some and cards then, up his sleeve, that's for sure. And then I don't know what he's doing, but our, the clank just maxes out, too. Did you have a lot of cards when you were down there? Like, and your clink maxed out, or? It was the fastest run I've ever made to level three. Okay. I had, like, over 30 cards left, I think. Wow. And I I maxed out clank. Hmm. Well, I mean, you are also running the suit up, right? So. Yeah. True. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I almost think he added something, though, to add clank. Like, I mean... There's the pressure plates, right? And I think some of the pressure plates might be next to the shriekers, but mm. I don't know if he added anything that adds extra clink. Hmm. It's hard to tell because when you're on level three, all you hear is the the warden heartbeats. Yeah. You can't really figure out what the clink is doing. That is absolutely true. You can't tell. But I I feel like it just goes from zero to max when I <laughs> go to level three. <laughs> and I don't know why. Well, I know when you put in your artifact, you get three clink, right? And if, like, you're really yeah. unlucky, you could potentially get six with suit up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. The dungeon. I think all each... All yours hypnotes. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yep, this is my last run. All right, here we go. Oh, only Shriekers have a 25% chance to generate another clink. Got it. Cards and artifact don't. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Yeah, that's that's good info. All right. Um, in we go. <laughs> Let's go, Deep Frost! Oh, I didn't I need to start the recording. Yeah, I don't think you can even select Defrost. All right. All this stuff away. Boop and a boop. And I'm already hungry, so I don't need to hug the berry plant. Okay. We go hard again. Looking for a level two compass, not a level three. <laughs> Off we go. Oh, all the stuff dropped at the same time that time, and then the map was last. Interesting. Whoops. Okay, it is a level two artifact, and then the map. All right. Level two artifact. That's more of my alley right now. We'll probably do some uh, deadly runs next phase. Don't mind if I do. Shriek me. Come on, shriek me. Dude, come on. Really? Okay, fine, whatever. Let me go back and grab my berry. I was gonna be really upset if this thing like triggered a shriek right here. 
Okay. Let's find out where the Ravagers are. I know Etho just ran and then he ran back through here, so he might have pulled some into a different location. Loot and scoot. Yeah, there is a Ravager, like, close here. We need to go loop him down this way. Come on, Gal. Come on, big guy. We'll just stash you right back there. That should be okay for the most part. Is he gonna see me from here? Uh, I'm sneaking. Okay, well, we're just gonna ignore that. Whatever. Two reckless charge we lost, just getting a bunch of hazard for it. Oh well. Uh, looking for my key. I'm just looking for a successful run here. Well, that bat kind of scared me. I saw something moving really fast up there. I was like, what the heck? Yeah, I'm really just looking for a successful run. Trying to get some more cards on the deck. Oh, oh, oh. Grab the berries. Right. No warden or <laughs> no ravager sneaking up on me this time, huh? Got a key over here, maybe? Key, no key. All right, let's grab a berry. Sneak. Give me that berry. All right. Well, we still haven't had a. Oh no, we had loot and scoot play. I, I was gonna say we didn't have a uh, loot card play, but I think we had a loot and scoot. That bat must have caught itself on fire. All right, let's see if we got a key up here. No. Stability. Stability is good. More hazard block. See that ravager in the correct room. Key back here, maybe? No key. Let's grab our berries. We'll go down to the room where we can loop the Ravager. Okay, I don't think that Ravager's going to see me, but I don't want to activate any extra clink over here, so we're just going to kind of sneak our way around back over here. Sneak. Extra clink block is great, but again, I don't want... Okay, so the Ravager on the other side ice cave's got to be, like, right there. So, like, when you come up the staircase from the round table room, it's got to be, like, right there in that area. Man, where's all the loot? I'm hearing dings. Hmm. All right, well, maybe we'll get our key now. We have to do something here, though. I think I'll check the loot inside the kneeling statue room. If, oh, this guy's like right here. That's not good. All right, come over here. We're going on a walk. I don't want you back here, but we got to put you back here. In fact, I might loop you around, put you back in the other. Oh, pumpkin. I might loop you back around over into here. Hitting all the clink. Did he follow? No, he didn't. Ding. That's not where I want him to be. Is there a key up here? There's coins. Let's go grab these coins. Is that my first clink? Did the heartbeat just start? Come here, guy. All the way up here, please. All right, block line of sight. Let's get out of here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, Frost Ember. Did my did an Ember Seeker play? It must have. I was like, I don't think I proc'd a Reckless Charge. Sneak. Key, 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 key. Nope. I have to be especially careful now with setting up random clink because it's the one or it's the 25% chance to get an additional one from these shriekers, right? So like 
I'm just sitting off a shrieker could be two at any time, and I really don't want that. We're gonna come over here, check down by the lava. If there's nothing down there, we're gonna go downstairs into the the round table room. Okay, there is nothing here. We got a reckless charge to play though. All right, a proc, I guess. I wonder if it would be a better... Hmm, I was going to say, I wonder if it would be a viable strategy to just proc Reckless Charge up here. And then go down to floor two after they've all played. But, like, I guess... We could just waste all of our cards doing that. And that probably wouldn't be the best idea. Do do. Alright, we gotta check downstairs. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's another loot in that treasure room. Where's this Ravager at? Key. No Ravager down here? Where's this Ravager at? He wasn't upstairs. Is there a zone line still by the TNT room? Or is that not a thing? Maybe there's two in that TNT area. Okay, we got our key. We just need to get out of here. Um, I kind of want to go up there and search for loot. <sighs> I really should. I mean, I, I really would want, rather get a win here than look for loot, but I guess we can... Yeah, we can't do this. The guy's camping. Okay. All right. Those are key though. We're just on our way out of here. Just trying to avoid hitting shriekers. I know on the other side, this landing right here has a shrieker. This one might as well. I don't know. Uh, there's one like right over here. There might be two in this area. I'm not. We're just gonna sneak our way up here. I still hit that one. I was so far away. That's unfortunate. Okay, I think over here we're fine. Since we did proc Reckless Charge, I want to check for some additional Frost Embers. Yeah, we'll check at the very back room over here, and I think we'll just leave after there. I kind of want to check the lava area too, but I don't want to spend much more time on floor one. We have so many berries. Maybe we got another pumpkin back here. This would be nice. No? Okay, we're out of here. It's time to go. Time to go. We're running real low on cards now. We have spent far too long on this floor. Stability. I think I set a Shrieker off there before and it didn't go off this time. I'm not sure what the dealio is with that. There's a lot of Frost Embers up there. Come on, guy. Need you down here. That's a lot of clink I just built. Mm-hmm. Okay. Little sketch there, but we are fine. We have the armor and we have a lot of extra food, so it's all good. Making sure I have that armor on, not my armor. <laughs> I feel like I would have noticed that earlier on if that was the case. Okay, so we're going... Th I always think that it's the Amethyst room. This time it actually might be. But we need to go down this way anyway. We got a pumpkin we got to drop off. That's three clink we just got. Four clink. Somebody left this door open. Oh. This berry bush isn't here anymore. So is it... Is it Amethyst? Is this compass turning or is it beyond Amethyst? I think it might be over here. All right. Dungeon repairs, that's a good one.
All right here. 24. So we got 30. Treasure Hunter. Although I think we're at max clink now, so we might not see any more treasure. That doesn't mean there won't be treasure already spawned, though. So since we're already at max clink, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't just take a look and see where there's stuff or where stuff could be. We're getting a lot of extra clink, though, unfortunately. <laughs> Just kind of hoping to see a rusty repair kit is what I really wanted to see. That Ravager is really close. Yep, okay, we can't go this way. Unfortunate. Did that just GG me, or is the diamond armor going to save me? I hit that lava really... Oh my goodness. I can't. Okay, okay, okay. The diamond armor just saved me right there. And we have plenty of berries to recover still. Cannot make these jumps for nothing, man. Go ahead and just top off our HP. We're not in any rush right now. Um, I don't know how we're going to get past. I guess we could go... I guess we could take Drip Leaf, drop down, climb the vine, and jump across. I guess. Yeah, we got nothing but stumbles, baby. Nothing but stumbles. Vex out already. Okay, we're going over here. We're getting away from that Vex. Oh, we got Willy somewhere. Where's that Ravager? We're just going. We're going up Spider. Spider it is. Look at this, it's still open. Crown? Let's go, 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 go. This still hasn't put out the water? Fantastic. Let's go. We need to top up our HP, although I guess it's not quite as important as it used to be without suit up. Just want to make sure our HP is full and our hunger hunger is full. Come on, hurry up. Why is that taking forever? All right. Mm-hmm. 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 We're gonna get hit right here, I am very certain, but it's fine. Yep, that's only two and a half hearts. This is OP. I don't want to change, but it is OP. Mm-hmm. Oh, we are probably going to die right here, actually. No, no, no. We're saved. Just can't stop, can't stop. Just go this way. We got hit by three Vex, I think, total. Whew, we're not out yet. Woo! Pew! Tango is removing the res resistance for sure. Don't do it, Tango! Leave it! 
30, okay. Can I please, please, please get an evasion? Will it please show up for me for once? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Okay, that's frost focus, I think. Four frost embers. I mean, it's not bad. Uh, we could get sprint. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy a three pack. I want to actually get some points, so that's what we're doing. We already have three. This will put us up to six. We'll have some points. We won't be coming in last. Hopefully we'll be higher up. Maybe. Oh, I got to put my crown and my coins in. So two more crowns. I don't, I think that's going to put us at six crowns in total remaining. I don't think we got enough for another shard for this phase, unfortunately. Just trying to punch the bat, but I missed twice. All right. We gonna die on impact? Yep. Oh, I didn't set my spawn again. And it's like nighttime, super scary out here. Is, wasn't there like a bed at spawn somewhere? Oh, hopefully we don't get creepered on the way over here. There's a creeper right there. There's a zombie. Do, 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 do. There's a bed right there. Can I just use this one? Whatever, zombie. We used the Tunnel of Shame the last time, and it's like a four-minute minecart ride. It's way faster just going through the nether. We already tried it once, guys. It is slow. Minecarts need, like, a boost. I honestly think minecarts should actually go faster than Elytra. I'm not joking. Because, like... You can't just go anywhere with the minecart, right? You can only go where the track allows you. You have to put in all the resources to place the track all the time. Whereas in Elytra, you just get the one time and then like you just fly wherever. Yeah, the tunnel is just a very boring like four minute ride, unfortunately. You're up, Etho. Good luck, my dude. He must be AFK. Good run, Hypno. Uh, I was successful. And oh my goodness. Oh, nice. uh, the suit up. Yeah, that saved that run for sure. It's pretty good, isn't it? It's really good. I'm afraid Tango's going to nerf it. Please don't nerf it, Tango. Please don't nerf it. <laughs> what if he removes the clank penalty? Then it would be a perfectly balanced card. 
No, 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 no. I think the clink penalty is fine. I just don't want him to, like, nerf it in some way. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. It really is. But you gotta tell everybody that sucks, though. It's so terrible, gets it. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's an awful card. I do think it's actually costed me one run, at least. You think so? Maybe two. The suit up. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Yeah. Just because of getting max clink? Max clink and... Yeah. Hmm. It's a trade-off. It really is. It really is. But, like, I've been playing these runs where I leave <laughs> the dungeon on Max Clink so often. Like, I'm just used to it. So, I don't know. I guess it just feels like a massive buff to me. Yeah, if you're guaranteed to get Max Clink anyway, like, it's definitely a help. I, I think so, too. Yeah. Because I think you can take four hits from Vexes. Mm, they did two and a half hearts, it felt like, when I got hit by one. Hmm. So yeah, I but. think they get different weapons sometimes too, though. So maybe, oh, do they? Yeah, yeah. yeah I know I've seen it with like the iron weapons. sword. Hmm. I've gotten flamed by them before. Really interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Ah. <sighs> well, that was my last run for the day. Hope you have uh, some some better successful runs. We're gonna go for one more deadly, and Ooh. then I'll judge if I have to go back to hard. I see, I see. <laughs> well, give pain and panic my regards. <laughs> Who got me last time anyway? Was it... Uh... Oh. oh, it was the Vexes, right? Yeah, Vex got you on the last one. All right, see you, Hypno. Yep, take care, dude. All right, guys, that, I think... Well, I guess what I should do... Put my deck away, grab these, grab those, put those away. That and we will submit our six tomes. Uh-huh. We'll go. Um Yeah, we'll go repair our stuff over at the end thing, I think. My elector still got like a little bit over 50% durability, but I prefer leaving my stuff full durability so when I log in, I don't have to like deal with it as a future hypno problem, you know what I mean? No hermits are streaming except for me, that's right. XP! Mm -mm -mm. Boop. All right, we're all repaired. Very quick. Oh, you know what? I didn't set spawn on my base, so we're going to go back to spawn, aren't we? But be able to make this. I always end up missing this one. Oh, I missed it again. Dang it. It's such a hard target to, to hit. Oh, I set my bed or I set my spawn in that bed. I was like, wait a second. This isn't spawn spawn. Turn out the farm. It really doesn't matter, honestly. That's mostly just there. So, like, there isn't a build up of ender pearls. And I did what one swipe at them? Like that's that's not a big deal. It's slightly more convenient than spawn, you're right. We Alright, we're gonna end it here. Alright guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me today while we played some decked out on the Hermitcraft server. I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you guys did too. Um, I don't think there's any other hermits streaming, right? Yeah, just me. Alright. I will be live tomorrow. We're going to continue on with, uh, Lord of the Rings Return to Moria. We'll be on a my normal stream time on an abnormal stream day. So if you guys want to watch some more of that or check it out for the very first time, it was a lot of fun. It's definitely a game. That I feel like is great with multiple people. 
I don't know how it'd be like in a single player thing. Maybe it's still as fun. I don't know, but it definitely is was a lot of fun with the hermits. So uh, if you guys are interested in that, again, we'll be live tomorrow at about 1 p.m. Eastern. Follow the channel if you haven't. So you get notified when I go live. But yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you guys for the support. Take care, everybody. Have a great rest of your Friday. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.